In today's video, we are going to introduce you to Colonial Parkway in the state of Virginia. We're going to talk about the parkway, show you some of the historical sites that it connects, and hopefully get to see some fall color along the way. We are starting our drive on Jamestown Island, site of the first permanent English settlement in the Americas. Jamestown was established in 1607. There are a couple sites that you can see here. One is historic Jamestown. This is the original site of the historic settlement and fort that is now a working archeological dig site. There's also another attraction called Jamestown Settlement, which is a site with recreations of the historic buildings of settlers and of area Native Americans. There are interpreters who act out the lives of the area's inhabitants in the 1600s to help bring the history to life. Until this road trip along Colonial Parkway, we had not been to Jamestown since a couple years before we started this channel, so we don't have any film footage, but we do have a few pictures that we can show you of that previous visit. We hope to get back there someday next year when we have time to do a full video of the area. Colonial Parkway is a 23-mile roadway stretching from the James River at Jamestown to the York River at Yorktown. This road was built by the National Park Service to connect historic sites at Jamestown, Williamsburg, and Yorktown. The idea behind the project was to build a scenic parkway that preserves nature and historically significant sites as part of Colonial National Historical Park. Except for the cars, it's easy to imagine you are traveling down a historic trail. The trees block out views of the modern world around the park. The river gravel pavement with no traffic lines painted on it gives the road a somewhat natural look. Large trucks have been banned and the speed limit along the parkway stays between 35 and 45 miles per hour. Along the way, there are a number of pull-offs where you can take a break from driving to read signage about the history of the ground you're standing on. or to see natural beauty along the way. As long as you aren't in a rush, you can get out of your car to read about the early settlers, the Native Americans that preceded them, and the significance of the area in the Revolutionary War. You can also see forests that look especially vibrant in the fall, and quiet, uncrowded beaches along the riverfront. The next stop is Williamsburg, home to Colonial Williamsburg, a mecca for U.S. history buffs. This is the largest living history museum in the world. You can walk around the grounds for free, but a ticket will get you into historic building tours and allow you to learn from historic interpreters. There are also some museums along the way to enjoy. Our channel has a video of our most recent visit to Colonial Williamsburg. It was our first time out of the house after quarantining for a couple months for COVID in spring 2020. 
The buildings were all closed at the time, of course, but we were able to walk the grounds and had the place mostly to ourselves. At the other end of the parkway is the Yorktown Battlefield. We visited this national park for our 4th of July video on our channel just a few months ago. This is where Washington and the American troops were joined by French troops to decisively defeat the English, though the war would continue to drag on a bit after that pivotal battle. In addition to the Battlefield Driving Tour, Yorktown is also home to the American Revolution Museum at Yorktown. Once our drive from one end of Colonial Parkway to the other was done, we stopped for lunch and sightseeing at Yorktown's Riverwalk Landing. There are these statues as you enter the area of General Washington, as well as Lafayette, Rochambeau, and de Grasse from the French military, who helped the Americans win the war. There was also a historical tall ship parked on the dock that you could tour, though that is only a temporary exhibit. We ended up stopping in a sushi restaurant at Riverwalk Landing for lunch. We enjoyed sitting in their outdoor seating area as the weather was so pleasant and the sushi was delicious. On a previous visit a couple years ago, we ate at Water Street Grill at Riverwalk, which was a good seafood restaurant. Colonial Parkway was built over a period of 26 years as construction and its completion was delayed by the Great Depression, World War II, and then financing problems. But the end result is a lovely road devoid of modern development that allows you to take in nature and monuments as you drive through 400 years of American history. I'm Alice. And I'm Jack. Be sure to click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so we can see you the next time we're traveling through.